Good morning, Madam Chairwoman, and to the distinguished members of the committee. My name is Corey Marshall. That's spelled K-O-U-R-I, Marshall, M-A-R-S-H-A-L-L, and I serve as the Director for State and Local uh, Public Policy for the Chamber of Progress. Our corporate partners include leading fintech companies, but our partners do not have a vote or a veto over our positions. We support SB 290, a bill that will regulate earned wage access services that help workers bridge the gap until payday. This frees workers from dependency on the payroll cycle and alternative options like predatory lending practices. The proper regulation of EWA services can be a benefit to Nevadans, where the FINRA Foundation reports that 56% of Nevadans are living paycheck to paycheck. Customer research conducted by leading EWA providers in 2021 showed that this service does indeed is mostly used to pay bills on time, buy groceries, and to avoid late fees. Eight out of 10 EWA consumers feel these services are the best available options to manage their spending and say their life has significantly improved after utilizing these services. From 2018 up until now, EWA services tripled in usage, primarily in response to consumers adapting to a financial environment where they have household expenses that cannot wait until payday. From single parents to nine to five workers, EWA has been and will continue to be a valuable option that works for their families and budget. We commend the senators for introducing this legislation, which puts guardrails around EWA by establishing clear regulations for service providers. We respectfully request your support for SB 290. Thank you all for your time.